Hey everyone, the guy you're seeing on screen right now is my good friend Steve, and he's playing the Pikmin 3 demo. Of course, I couldn't play and record at the same time, and I wanted to have some videos for you guys from PAX, so I did this. That guy right there is Pat. I'm pretty sure you all know him. So, essentially, I wanted to take some videos while I was at PAX, but um, they weren't, I don't know, we, we were all like splitting up and going around for the most part, so it wasn't really, I couldn't really... Um, record much but i decided to record what i thought you guys would really care about and in this case that's pikmin because pikmin's a game that we've been waiting for for a very 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 long time last game came out in either a 102 somewhere around there i believe or three i forget when pikmin 2 came out point is it's been at least somewhere around 10 years since the last pikmin game and this demo was playable to be perfectly honest though um the demo was pretty good. Here um, we see that Steve is doing the stage. The um, the playable Chaos Care had two um, sections. You could either do boss battle or a stage. Um, sometimes these people at the booths let you do both. Sometimes they let you do one. I don't know. They were really inconsistent in their monitoring. Actually, after this video was taken, when Steve was recording me doing the boss battle mode, uh, they told him there was a two minute limit for the video, but I already had my full seven of his entire demo, so it shows you, like, oh my god, actually, since when I turned my camera turned, she was, she's not even in the picture, um, so, yeah, you guys see what I'm saying. Anyways, the game, what Steve just said is the game controls pretty well, um, for some reason, it, I'm not sure if it doesn't use the gamepad at all, or if it was... We remote and nunchuck for the demo, but it didn't. I don't know. It, it was only the um. It was only the Wii remote and nunchuck that actually um were usable for this. I don't know if the full game is going to be like that. And I show the gamepad later, and it really only just shows a map of the screen with really no touchable buttons. Again, it could be a demo. Um. It could be a demo limitation, but I think it's just worth noting. And here you're going to see Steve throw these Pikmin over here and to introduce the new type of Pikmin in Pikmin 3, and that is... The Rock Pikmin. So now that we're back here, um, that guy's dead, so let's go move his corpse. Uh, and use it see, as see, currency or, or whatnot. But now, as you can see, only the rock Pikmin can actually break through certain things. So we're using them here to break through this glass and get this golden strawberry. Also notice when I do start throwing rock pick when Steve rather starts throwing rock Pikmin, they do a lot more damage to enemies than the normal Pikmin, but they don't stay there and attack, so it, it, they feel fairly balanced and they're pretty good. Also, control-wise, obviously that cursor on screen is um, through IR, so you are pointing at the screen to get that cursor, and basically where you point is, can, is um, determinant of where you aim and which area of Pikmin that you're calling to yourself. You use the B button to call Pikmin and you use the A button to throw with the C button on the nunchuck to switch between which Pikmin type is being currently selected and used. You can probably of course, see the start from where you are. It's just a giant circle of a map. Of course, you could also hear myself talking in this video trying to help Steve out and uh, what I was saying was basically if you push the Z button on the nunchuck it will snap the map to it'll snap the camera to the direction you're facing right there i snapped to pat because why not anyways so of course can't really apologize for being an off-screen demo because this is of course pax um it's kind of odd though because i, I feel like this would be the perfect kind of demo that you would sh could or should give out on an e-shop but it's interesting that Nintendo doesn't do that. Um, here, before you saw him throwing Pikmin at something and they were lifting them at some um, pebbles or whatever, and essentially what happened was um, they're making a bridge, so that's cool. It gives you a nice little shortcut back to start. There they are. 
You can see they're moving it. Come on, see, please turn the camera. See, they're building this this whole bridge, bridge right here is what they're building. So it gives you a nice little shortcut back to start. Well, that's odd. <laughs> you know, I need to sound something slightly better. Yeah. Um, also, I will have some footage of the boss rush after this, but once Steve started recording me playing, the person told them there was a two minute limit, so I won't be able to be Should as extensive about that, but whatever. Here we have these little enemies that disguise themselves, but whatever. Also, that glass right there, also something else that can only be broken with rock Pikmin. Where all our rocks go? I'm probably waiting at start. Dead. Like I said, there wasn't really much else at PAX I could take videos, but t tomorrow I'm going to try to have a podcast out where me, Pat, and Steve discuss and reflect on what some of our favorite and worst and general impressions of PAX East 2013 were. I am going to try to go to PAX Prime, but I don't know. There's um, it's like a it's a coin flip at this point about whether or not I can. Here you can also see gold. Um, here's this area where, of course, you need the fire Pikmin because they're red to take out the guys who are on fire. Makes sense. And straightforward enough. Um, there's the gamepad, like I said. Here's him controlling it. And yeah, it's uh, I've, it's very interesting that they opted not for gamepad support this time. And like I said, it could be a demo limitation, especially after that whole Nintendo Land mini Pikmin thing. Use the gamepad pretty nicely. Um, it could still be coming, but like I said, that's just what was available for the demo. Also, this is a slide. And here we go for the boss rush mode. This is me actually playing right now, and Steven is the one recording with my iPod. And then there's Pat being an idiot. So here's the boss. Like I said, I could only get two minutes of footage for this. And oh, wow, actually, it was less than two minutes. All right. So basically, this boss sucks. But there's a very simple strategy to get him. Yeah, there you can hear her saying only two minutes. Um, here, essentially, what the strategy is: he has this exo exoskeleton, and you need the rock Pikmin to break that exoskeleton. And then, once his skin is exposed, you can throw the Pikmin at the exposed portion of the skin to attack. And then that's how you defeat the boss. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can see, you can see that there's noticeable chips being broken in his exoskeleton. And that's how that works. Uh, but meanwhile here, he's just being... Be oh, wow. You're talks. seeing my Pikmin being murdered. You lost 12 of them. It's a, it's a boss of Pikmin. No one lives. Um, you can actually break the other areas of his skin too and damage those. But I found it was a bit easier to just damage the head. The head than any other area because he's usually moving and the head's the biggest. So that's that. Anyway, that was the Pikmin experience. Um, next you time... Died? I died? <laughs> oh, apparently I died. Next time, we'll do the podcast. I've been Matt Goldsman. I'll catch you next time.